About to leave Already packing Come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Hello and welcome to Cruise Travel and Explore with Stinkman Steve. Thank you for joining me today. Today is day nine of our Tui Marella cruise round the Adriatic and sail the free seas. And today it's our second sea day. Uh, so I'm going to give you a little bit tour of the, uh, the ship. We've got the great musical uh, tea experience. Go and see a show. We're uh, going to go play bingo and we're going to do the uh, pub quiz in the Squid and Anchor. So uh, sit back, relax, and uh, enjoy the video. We're now on deck 12 of the uh, Explorer 2 and you'll see along here there's lots of sunbeds but a lot, the majority, well most of these sunbeds will probably go around about half past 10 uh, in the morning but there's plenty of sunbeds. If you don't find any sunbeds here there's the other decks that you can uh, you can sunbathe on and you've also got the uh, uh, deck 11 which has the main pool and the uh, jacuzzis there. Okay, still on deck 12, we're gonna enter the Indigo Casino and nightclub and bar. Uh, the nightclub itself, I think, starts at 11 o'clock. I might be wrong here, I do apologize. I mean, it might actually be 10 o'clock. But in, anyway, it's open till around about two o'clock in the morning. So this is your uh, your dance floor. If you uh, if you like to dance, if you don't, you can just stand by and watch. Uh, you've got your bar there to your right hand side and there's plenty of seating in here. Uh, we probably spent our first two nights uh, in here up to two, two three o'clock in the morning. Unfortunately, it's uh, it, we're in probably the next days because we were so tired after uh, partying quite hard uh, but for you guys you'd like to stay up a little bit later and also there's a stage back here as well and sometimes you'll get bands playing on it uh, it's only a small casino in here but if you like to gamble then it's perfect for you For those who've read about the smoky margaritas and the smoky negronis, uh, which is additional fee for those, I think it's about £3.50 unless you're on the premium all inclusive and they're included, this is the bar that you get those from.
cart on deck 12 again now you'll see some wooden tables and chairs to your right inside this is a smoking area i mean you can sit there if you want to and not smoke but be aware that smokers do sit there there's ashtrays there for them and smoking bins uh, and these are the whirlpools on deck uh, 11. Now also on deck 11 you may see in your brochure uh, that's left in your room about activities they do movies by night this is where it's held on deck 11 just by the swim pool where the stage is. Okay, to your right hand side you can see a big black screen or LED screen, that's where they show movies at night. Coming up on deck 12 is the shack, so the yellow hut in front of you, there you can get your drinks, so you can get your premium drinks, not a massive amount of premium drinks if you're on the premium all inclusive, majority are uh, standard drinks and there's a couple of tables and chairs here. Now when we were on the cruise we only managed to sit in these table and chairs twice, every time we went up there they were always busy because it's a beautiful spot, you get to people watch, you're right by the bar and then you've got the views of the ocean so if you want a table and chair there, there's very limited uh, but it's really nice sitting there with a nice cold beer or cocktail. So now we're on deck 14, you might be asking where's deck 13? Now on the Marilla cruise ship, this particular Explorer uh, ship, I'm not sure whether this is on their entire fleet, deck 13 isn't there, it goes from 12 to 14, so 13 isn't there if you're looking for it. Now by the way we're up on deck 14 which is the running track and also on this deck there is lots of sunbeds uh, down both sides and at the front of the ship as well. Now you might be wondering, what's a pink bull doing on the ship? <laughs> Uh, this is a theme that Morella have on certain fleets of ship like the Discovery, the Voyager, they have a different theme. On this ship it's uh, bulls or cows and they'll be dotted around the ship. I think the other one is in the coffee pot.
this area is known as the sun deck uh, on deck 14 again plenty of sunbeds here we spent many uh, hour sunbathing here uh, tends to be a little bit more quieter in this particular area than it does the main pool Again, we're still on deck 14. Deck 14 is split between the front of the ship and the back of the ship. And this is, again, deck 14. So this is the veranda. This is where your cabanas are on. Now, you can't just go in one of these. You can only go in one of these if you uh, decide to pay the £100 per day. Me personally, I think it's really steep. Uh, on the cruise, I think we may have seen four people on the two week cruise in these. It's really expensive. I think if they charge 25 to 50 pound a day, you would probably get a lot more people using them. But for the price, we thought it was very expensive. Uh, so you've got these, if you wanna hire these, if you go to guest services or to the spa and they can arrange that for you. Again, plenty of sunbeds here. So if you're at the front of the ship or the back of the ship, you've got plenty of sunbeds. We never struggle to find a sunbed. We may have not found this sunbed in the particular area we wanted, but we definitely found a sunbed on the two weeks, wherever we went to. Now you get waiter service here as you do everywhere else on the ship. So if you see a waiter, just uh, call them and they'll come and serve you and bring a drink to you. You've also got toilets just where the lifts are. Now this is another one of our favorite areas. Okay, more cabanas coming up. So these are on the left side of the ship and the right side. So if you wanted to hire a cabana and you wanted sun, check which side you want to go on, whether you want to go on the right or the left, because one side might have sun and the other side might not have sun. If you didn't want sun, then again, check which side you want. Now on deck 15, this is where you locate your mini golf. Now mini golf is included in your cruise. There's no additional cost to play this and you can play as many times as you want. Uh, to get the balls and the uh, clubs, it's not this side where I am now, it's on the opposite side. I'm gonna take the camera around there and show you where your golf balls uh, and clubs are. So if you wanna play golf, it's on deck 15. So 
coming up now, this is where you get your clubs and balls. So you just take your club and the ball you want and just play. You don't need to see anybody. You're free to play whenever you want to. Okay, so we're now on deck 11. Uh, down here, you have your main pools, you have uh, Beach Cove, you've got this stage, you've got a snack shack, you've got a bar in the corner, you've got your jacuzzis. Uh, you've got quite a lot down here as well. And if you don't want to sunbathe, there's chairs that are dotted around as well. This area, of course, is the most busiest on the ship. Uh, so if you want a sunbathe, you have to get there quite early to, to reserve the, the the best one you want but this is where the majority of all the action is the entertainment uh, there's a lively atmosphere down here is your pull bar now we found the pull bar to be quite busy most times so what we used to do is actually go up to the other bar on deck uh, deck 12 get the drinks and then come back down to here Coming up on the left hand side is Scoops. Scoops is your ice cream parlour. Now Scoops is not included in the normal package or the premium package. If you want any ice cream, you have to pay for it. Now we got ice cream, it's gelato, and I think it was one pound a scoop. Uh, so you can get three scoops in total, which would be three pounds. Now coming up are the little huts uh, for the uh, snack shack. Now you can sit in there and eat or you can sit at another table or take the food to your sunbed. It's entirely up to you. Uh, snack shack is the pink uh, sort of uh, area right in front. Now there you can get chicken, burgers, uh, fish, you've got salads, uh, you've got a, a variety of different foods. So if you don't want something that's fried, to the right hand side you're going to see a little fridge in there. They put fresh fruit, fresh sandwiches and fresh wraps every day. Okay, on your left hand side you're going to see some plates and sauces. Here you can help yourself to tea, coffee, water, juices, uh, whenever you want to. Now coming up is the Beach Cove. The Beach Cove is not included in the Premium All Inclusive or the Normal Inclusive package. It's additional charge if you want to eat here, but it's not expensive. I think it's $15.95 per person. We ate in here on two occasions. The food was amazing. It was probably one of our favorite restaurants. For the price as well, uh, you got salmon, beef, a big variety of different foods. Uh, if you head over to the Facebook group, which is Cruise, Travel and Explore, all the menus for each restaurant, whether it be an included restaurant or a paid restaurant, I've uploaded those and put them as PDF files in the Facebook group. So that's Cruise, Travel and Explore. If you head over there, join, you can have a look at them or download them and there's other information in that group there for you.
Now we're heading off to the great musical tea party. We pre-booked this before our cruise. I think it was $15.95 per person. Uh, if you can't book it before you go, you can book this when you're on the cruise ship. Uh, so don't worry. And the great musical tea party is held on your sea day. I think it started at a one or two o'clock and it lasts for about two hours. And we paid $15.95 in total. Uh, we love this. There was a few things that we felt they could have done which may have heighten the experience i think it would have been nice to uh, receive a glass of prosecco on entry uh, because during the tea party you only got one alcoholic drink thank you very much thank you Yes, I can. I can take my liquor and 
faster than a flicker. I can drink it quicker and get even sicker. I can open any sicker. But not get it caught. Uh -huh. That's what I thought you could. Anything you can hold, I can hold longer. here on board. My name is Steph. And my name is Marcus and we're here today to provide a little light entertainment due to a musical themed afternoon tea. We're going to leave you for now but we'll be back for one song later on. We are history, we are guests, we are guests, we are guests, we are guests,
a solo fight out here. We hope to see as many there as possible. It's a fantastic night. We're going with the best music. Do it. Yeah. 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 subjective some people this might not bother them for us we thought it could have been slightly better i think we were slightly disappointed with the amount of singing we thought there was going to be singing probably throughout most of the actual tea party for two hours uh, the singers were absolutely amazing it was so amazing to to be there and actually hear them sing they came out and sung around about two and a half songs we wish they could have sung for longer because it, it made the moment so magical we just wish it was slightly more singing and it would have been really nice on entry to receive a glass of Prosecco now for those that don't drink that's fine and you're probably saying well it's a tea party but we just thought it would be an additional nice touch uh, we loved it but yeah that was our thoughts now after the tea party, I think this finished around about four o'clock. We didn't feel it was really worth going back and getting in our swimwear and getting changed again. So we just went out straight away. So we weren't hungry because we just had some food. So we went for a drink and we ended up at Flutes which is the uh, premium all-inclusive bar. Uh, we love it. We, we spent quite a lot of time in this particular area. After flutes, we went to the Squid and Anchor, again one of our favourite uh, areas. We went to the Gin and Whiskey Bar. We love whiskey, we love gin, so this addition to the uh, Explorer ship is absolutely fantastic. So if you're wondering where the Gin and Whiskey Bar is, it's the back of Squid and Anchor. Which country's vehicle registration? Now after a couple of drinks, we decided to have a go at the quiz. We probably did the quiz maybe six, seven times. I mean, out of 20 questions, I think the most we ever got were 12. We, we're not particularly good at this, but we'd uh, partake anyway. And after the quiz, we decided to play bingo. Now to get your bingo cards, you need to go to guest services. I think it was five pounds uh, each. And for that you get, I think it's four or five games. Was the only one to be continuously produced 
Okay, if you could do me a huge favour, if you could give the vlog a thumbs up and press that notification and subscribe button so any future vlogs of Elise you'll be notified straight away. This also does me a massive favour because if I create these vlogs and I don't get any interaction, there's no comments, thumbs up or subscribes, YouTube doesn't put those vlogs in front of you and I do this for you guys. Uh, I know when I'm going on a cruise I want as much information as possible uh, so I would love you if you could press the notification, subscribe and the thumbs up and head over to the Facebook group and join that and also the Instagram as well because I put photographs from the cruise that I don't put on the Facebook group so if you could do that please 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 I'd love you what's the name of the spaceship in the movie Alien anybody feeling confident yeah. oh somebody said yes I'll take that <laughs> I'll take that for anything you've got a couple right so far Okay, well I'll tell you my highest score last week for one of my quizzes was six, so <laughs> keep the faith, because you just never know. So I have a bit of belief, you just don't know uh, how low the high score is going to be on these uh, toughest quizzes. Moving on to number 14, American jazz musician Mark Summers is famous for playing which instrument? So American jazz musician Mark Summers is famous for playing which instrument? <laughs> and then your final question was a... Oh, I think you do know what the high score might be pretty strong today. So all I need to do is talk about them scores out of a... So, on your first game, this is your brown ticket, okay? Your brown ticket, and all we want is one line, okay? Just one line completed on your brown ticket, and you can win £58.40. Thank you for using ours. Your second game will be your pink ticket, okay? Your pink ticket, and that will be for two lines. Two lines, and if you complete that first, you can win £117. I know. bingo today we are playing bingo 49 which means we have got a jackpot prize and on your green ticket if you are able to complete a full house on your green ticket in 49 numbers or less you could be walking away with 409 pounds and 50 pence oh yes indeed but don't worry because if that prize isn't won. If you do not complete your full house in 49 numbers or less, that prize money will roll over to tomorrow's bingo and we will pay bingo 50. And it will keep going until the end of the cruise week on the Wednesday evening where we will play in the Broadway Showland. However, if you are still able to complete, complete your green ticket, a full house, but after 49 numbers, you can still win today £175.50. Two little ducks, the number 22. Thank you, Quackers. Your next number.
is a famous talk by the world famous Costa. That's not Costa Coffee, that's Costa, the captain of the Explorer 2. He's on stage talking, really, really funny man, and also other members of the staff. You've got to listen to this, it's fantastic. Thank you for joining us tonight. How was your dinner? Lovely. Yeah. Perfect. All right. And the weather? Beautiful. Yes? Yes. Thank you. Credit to the captain for that. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. It's something right at least for the day, yes? Uh, for once again, uh, on behalf of myself, the officers, the staff and the crew, I would like to thank you for choosing Marana Cruises and our beautiful vessel for your holidays. And we are very excited for the week ahead. Now, as you already know, my name is Costas. Captain Costas and with 2,649 Costa coffee outlets around the world. <laughs> yes, that's a fact. You may Google it and you will find that that's exactly the number of uh, Costa coffee outlets in the UK. Uh, this is uh, definitely a name that you will not easily forget this cruise. Uh, I'm Greek. I was born and raised in Athens. Uh, as you may have understood already from my strong accent, sometimes difficult to understand. I'm a third generation of seafarers, so there is quite a strong competition over the Sunday of Stable, who has sailed the after seas and who has sailed the most remote destination, and somehow the elder is always a winner. I have 26 years at sea. If you think we've met somewhere before, uh, I've been on board the Marine Lakes World 2 since 2019. However, prior to that, I uh, was on board the Marine Discovery. And uh, whenever I'm not uh, on board, I spend my I share my time between the city of Athens and the city of Berlin in Germany, where my children live in, and that's about it. Now, we are 778 crew members from 43 different nationalities. Uh, here on board, there is people that you will see throughout the day: the entertainment staff, the bar staff, the housekeepers the people down by the reception, but there is people that you will rarely see or never see. These people that they work down in the engine room, up in the grids, in the galleys, and I can keep on going. They all do play a very important role in order to make this cruise a successful one, and I wish I could bring each and everyone here on the stage with me to say who they are, where they are from, and what exactly they do here on board. However, as you may understand, this is a mission impossible, as we would have to spend the rest of the evening, and most likely we will have to skip breakfast too. So I will cut it short and bring here on the stage with me those very important ones, uh, those responsible for the day-to-day -day operation of the vessel. So please put your hands together for the senior officers of my electorate. <laughs> So I will ask each and everyone to make a couple of steps ahead and say who they are and where they are from and what they do here on board. And to start from my left and right hand, the uh, master mariner who is capable to take an early time. However, don't get me wrong, I'm only 45, I'm not due for an early retirement. Thank you very much for that. Put your hands together for our staff captain. Thank you very much. Come on board. I'm uh, Dave from sunny Portsmouth on the south coast. Hey, Artie. Hello. How's it going? Um, so I'm in charge of the deck department, uh, security, safety, all the maintenance of the outside of the ship, and I basically do all the paperwork the captain can't bother to do anymore. Welcome to the board of Next to follow someone very important, and he will explain you the reason why. Our chief engineer. My name is Stefan, and I'm coming all the way from the Black Sea coast of Bulgaria. My position on board is chief engineer, and I'm responsible for all the technical operation of the vessel, for the propulsion, for the power generation, for the cold water, for the cold water, and uh, many more including the refrigeration system to keep the beer cold in your glasses. <laughs> <laughs> as, well as, 
decided to stabilize it in the heavy weather and the high sea to keep the rings into your process. <laughs> One of the many beautiful ladies with our Mongol team, responsible for more than 400 crew members. Uh, please put your hands together for our hotel director. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Elizabeth and I come from Ireland. Any cousins? Yeah. <laughs> Can I return with my cousins? <laughs> my role on board here is to do everything the captain doesn't want to do, the staff captain doesn't want to do, and the chief engineer. <laughs> I do the washing up. <laughs> but together we have a great team, both front of house and back of house. Everybody who works so, so very hard to look after you while you're on board. So those of you who are new to us, you're very, very welcome. And to those of us, or those of you who have returned to us, welcome back to your family. Whatever you choose to do, have a great cruise. Thank you. Now, I bet you all know who the next person is. <laughs> <laughs> However, I need to say something. Uh, the person behind the increased risk line at the end of this cruise, our executive chef. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. My name is Amit Rodriguez. I'm from Mumbai, India. I'm the one in charge for all the galley operations. On behalf of Galley Team, welcome on board and enjoy your cruise. Thank you so much. Now, next to follow, one more uh, of uh, the many beautiful uh, ladies we have among the team, and uh, she may have an answer to the question you may have, and that person is our guest special manager. Hi, Mr. Captain. Good evening, everyone. My name is Elizabeth, and I come from Glasgow, Scotland. Yeah. We do have family in tonight, believe it or not. My cousin is up on the balcony there. Where are you? Give us a wave. Hi <laughs> So as your guest relations manager on board, I'm responsible for our lovely team over at reception, as well as your guest experience coordinators, Anthony and Nicole. On behalf of myself and all of the team over on deck five, we hope you have a wonderful cruise. Thank you. Now we have uh, five wonderful destinations ahead, starting with Valletta in Malta tomorrow. And either you have decided to explore on your own or participate in one of the many organized excursions we have to offer, there is someone who can tell you where to go and what to see in order to maximize your experience with us this cruise. And that person is our destination services manager. <laughs> Good evening everyone. My name's Michelle. I come from Middlesbrough. <laughs> so along with my team, whether you're beside the deck five, we're here to make the most of these ports of call. Whatever you choose to do, whether it's a tour, going off independently, we've got some great bike tours with our bike guides in a Kandako. We just want you to make some amazing memories from this cruise. So on behalf of myself and the team, welcome on board. It's very hard for me to admit that there is someone more popular than I am this cruise. <laughs> and I'm sure that you will all agree with me that that person is our bar manager. Thank you, Kathy. Good evening, everyone. My name is Nandi. I'm the bar manager on board. My job is very easy, just to keep a glass filling. <laughs> I buy my accent. I'm from Manchester. <laughs> Just joking, I'm from Jamaica. On behalf of myself and my team, a warm welcome and a wonderful holiday. Thank you. Yeah. Now, if you enjoy the fluffy toys, towel toys in your cabins every day, and that uh, chocolate over your pillow every evening, there is someone responsible for that, and that person is our chief housekeeper. Thank you, Captain. Good evening, everyone. My name is Dragica. I come from Coto Montenegro. 
as Captain says, during this week, if you wake up with chocolate on your face, I'm the right person to blame for that. I'm in charge of housekeeping and laundry team on board. On behalf of my team and myself, we wish you amazing cruise with us. And last but not least, someone you met him in person uh, already or you heard his voice over the time, right? our cruise director. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Chris. I'm all the way from Essex in England. Now, as you can see, yeah, we've got family in as well, Captain. Now, as you can see, I'm the most subtly dressed out of everybody on stage tonight. But, of course, alongside my wonderful assistant, Charlotte, and the entertainment department, we're going to look after all of your entertainment throughout the day to these fabulous shows in the evening. So just relax, enjoy yourself, and let us entertain you. But thank you very much, and welcome aboard the Red Explorer 2. If you are questioning that ginger ale, by the way, yeah, there is no drinking and driving for me at least this cruise. So please now join me for the traditional toast. But before that, I must warn you that just because we are on a cruise and the captain is Greek, there is no smashing of plates or glasses for food. The green will end up in the stage. Fair winds and smooth seas to a great cruise. Cheers! Yamas! I just wanted to say a big thank you for watching the vlog. It really does mean a lot, and your comments uh, that I receive every day regarding the uh, the vlogs I do and the content I create really, really does help me. I really do appreciate the nice comments I get. Uh, the next vlog will be the letter in Malta, which is day ten. Uh, that should be going up roughly in about a week's time. Uh, so I look forward to uh, your comments and for your feedback on that particular vlog. And thank you once again. Don't forget to press that notification, subscribe, and give me a thumbs up, and head over to the Instagram group and the Facebook group which is Cruise, Travel and Explore. Love you. Bye. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see.